This is the AA-99 Assault Rifle. Produced by Allied Armaments. 11 millimeter armo, ammo. 30 shot mag. Fire rate is 112. Range 56. Accuracy 67%. It weighs 3 pounds. And it's current, currently valued at $17,695. Does 74 physical damage. Let's take this outside. Like my place. Decorated it a little something. But yeah, take this outside. Are we gonna. What the hell? Let's try this again. We're gonna take this outside. And we are going to test it. All right, I got my little XP farm going over here. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to catch one of these dudes. So how we test it is fully hidden headshot, right? Let's see what damage we do. But I wanna, I wanna get it clean. I wanna get a clean headshot. It's gotta be clean, it's gotta be fully hidden. So we can see what the max damage of the weapon is. All the gun perks that you could possibly get, I have them all the way up. Great, miss. That's what you want to do. But we want we want the bars on the top to be completely gone. When we take our shot. So we have some control over what it looks like to do fire on shot. Partially hidden, maybe under caution, or green. There we go. 234, it seems. 156, 94, 63. Okay, let's go throw some mods on this and then see what it can do. The fire rate is, is decent. I think it's, it's fully automatic right now. So we'll run up in here and we'll throw some mods on this thing. Now what I was going to do initially, I was, I was going to throw one mod at a time and go back outside and test the difference with each mod. If you want to see something like that, let me know. But for now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through each individual thing that we can mod. And I'm going to put the thing that I think is best for this particular weapon on. And then we'll go out and test it fully modded. But if you prefer to see the progression, let me know in the comments section. But for now, um, we're not looking at the value too much. We want to see any green improvement. So this increases the range by 11 meters or feet but i think it's meters and it improves the accuracy by three percent we're gonna go with the long barrel next on the list is a laser now i, I always put the recon laser sight because it, it it makes them look like it makes the enemies look once you hold it on the enemy for a minute it makes it look like they they've been analyzed with a thermal Im imaging camera the dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything it's really cool you get to see them you get to track them behind walls and stuff so we're gonna throw and the same thing with the optics so you do want to scope and um medium scope and a recon scope i think give the same basically the same I mean it's nominal the difference is nominal it's two points two percent so I go with the recon scope because that also aids in helping you track your opponents your enemy I always go with the suppressor because why not 
Why not be stealthy whenever possible, even though stealth is kind of broken in this game? Grip and stock! Okay, ergonomic seems to be the only one that gives us an improvement in any category, which is accuracy. And I'm all about that. Magazine and battery. Hmm. Now we're going for the one. Now you see the physical damage is here. 81.9. This also provides an increase of 0.3. No, we want. Yeah. Yeah, we want. We want seven. Or close to eight. Armor piercing rounds. Got it. Tactical. That's it. So armor piercing it is. And then for the next one, internal. Well, naturally we're going with high powered. That gives us another 12 or 13. And then the receiver, fully automatic, which is at 94 right now, which the fire rate that we have which is really good. But I think we're going to go for the physical damage, which brings our fire rate down to 40. But it brings our physical damage up to 171, almost double it. So we're, we're about 10, per, 10 points short of doubling. And I think it might be double based on the perks and stuff that I have on the weapon. So we're going to go back out here and see what this does to one of these poor little creatures. And her name always seems to escape me before. It's disrespectful, but maybe I've never really bothered to learn what their names are, which is terrible. Fully hidden. Oh, the sway is completely gone. 877. So we could two shot these things now with an 877. Because I think they have around 1200. Not exactly. But 877 is really good. Let's get another hidden, hidden shot going here. 585. That was good also. Get him in the face. 585. So that looks like the base damage is 585. If you really get the special completely hidden, that's when you get slightly better effect out of the gun. The sway is completely gone. Like, I don't even have to hold my breath for this gun. The sway is almost completely gone. I haven't been using this gun, but I think I'm going to start at this point. Actually, really like. It. Let's see if we can find anything in the distance to fire at real quick. Let's see if we can give this a better demo. Okay, well, let's do it. completely hidden shot. 877. He's still alive. 877. That was 1117. 898. Okay, and for the record, I all, we're always going to go with the advanced version of the gun. We're not going to go with refined or modified or calibrated. We're always going to go with the advanced version of the gun. And if you watched my previous uh, episode, um, I did explain how to get guns and money and all that good stuff. I got it dislocated. That's all good. I should heal from that short order um in another episode also i'm gonna go go over my perks list of what perks i chose because again i'm doing this on console and i'm doing this in real time so the perks that i have are the perks that i have so i can't tell you about other perks that i didn't select or whatever maybe in time i'll come back and i'll go through all of them or maybe eventually i'll get all of them level 103 or 102 right now yeah well, level 102 and halfway through it with a poor prognosis for my disposal. But yeah, we're gonna go through all the perks that I chose, why I chose them, because as you can see, I don't have them all. And I don't think all of them are necessary at all. But I do have all, like everything that you're able to, to modify your weapons with, I have those. So this is what the weapons will look like fully modified. This is, this is it, right here. So the AA-99. One to 10, 
no, with no legendary status the way it is right now, I'll probably give this. Let me see what the fire rate is on the semi automatic. Oh, I think I. Yeah, actually, I unequipped it. Let's see what the fire rate is. It's not too bad. It's, it's fat. Not as fast as you could pull the trigger, obviously, but got a pretty good fire rate. And I have plenty of shots for this. I, I believe this is one of the most common ammo types in the game. The 11 millimeter, I believe this is one of the most common. So, yeah, that's it. The AA-99. Up next, I think will be the Beowulf, which is another rifle. So we're gonna run through these. So stay tuned. I might upload another one tonight, but definitely one a day. Forward. So thanks for watching. Hey!